And after three weeks of uh, falling, the NASDAQ has been started to rise on last Friday until today. But the market will go down mainly. And I'll tell you exactly why. On a daily chart, we have a big gap at around 15,850. This is the beginning of the zone. 15,850 until 15,950. This is the upper gap has not been filled. And downside, we had to fill the gap at 14,500, which has not been filled neither. And next week, we have the contracts roll over. And that means the market will open the gaps rarely if the market does not reach one of these two gaps, upside or downside, then from next week we will have three open gaps and that's very dangerous for the volatility of the market. But it seems now that the market will go down and in my analysis I told you in NASDAQ, once NASDAQ is below 15,416, you need to short the market. The target of the market will be at the beginning at around 15,150 and then 15,000, 15, 14,850, 14,600, 14,500. And if the market breaks that gap, you have a very open but on the same time bullish strong gap at around 13,500 to 13,000. 800. So this is the direction at the market. Um, I have been selling the market at around 15,500. If you go now to my trading view page, the Brasco FX, and you click on that, you see that I have already made four different bearish scenarios. So we begin with the first scenario and the first scenario was the gap of bullish and this will be happened next week after we have reached that gap so this is the first scenario and i told you if the market is around let's say 15200 and we will have a big retracement there possibly the market will break that edge go up to this upper line at around 15,800 15,867 and then the market will come down this is the first scenario it has not been released now but it does not mean it won't be happen the second scenario was the bearish scenario that means following that if the market would reach the gap and fill the gap we immediately would sell it has not been happened but if the market now moves during this week before we are reaching the downside gap at around 14,798 to 14,736 if it won't happen the market will turn up then we will reach the upper gap and then we would sell very heavily right this is the second scenario of the market the next scenario is this is scenario number three that's happening right now bearish target pre-gap and you see i have already described all the buttons you need to go there subscribe my channel and we'll have all this analysis okay let's see that that's exactly happened last night after asian opening at around fifteen thousand. exact number is at around fifteen thousand six hundred eighty five the market turned down divergence 
We have opened at 15,547 the first one, at 15,415 the second one, and currently the market is below 15,400 going down to the first target, and this is about 15,256 to 15,190 before the market goes down to 14,500. And the last scenario is, as I told you before, we will have first a very strong bearish movement to the deepest waters. And then at that level, the super bulls, aggressive bulls, right? We see here on the volume profile that we will have here to fill this very, very strong hole and gap, the market goes down extremely deeply to 14,500. And if they break the market down to 14,292 and we go back again, so this is the gap of February. If we break that level and you see here, we, we have this circle is a very strong gap. And if the market breaks that gap, we go very down to 13,686 level. And this level you see here is exactly there where the second phase of the strong bullish trend, major trend of NASDAQ had just begun. Meaning the bull, strong bulls are waiting there to push up the market extremely high. So currently the trade plan is short i have marked already the profit target for you you can go there grab it out and at the end of this week i hope so if not during the next 14 days we will see those prices and the market as you can see is now moving to the deep waters we see here now with my new bollinger indicator that's indicating the very strong upper trend and also downward trend on higher time frames so the market has broken the first strong resistance down also the second one and the sentiment currently is bearish for the nasdaq so i hope you enjoyed this and you will make healthy and wise decisions to be on the right side of the market. Have a nice day.